So I saw a really, really good idea from 40 times around about putting a different kind of top box on the back of your bike. And I'm gonna give it a go, see how it comes out. So my original top box was just a standard soft type top box for a Triumph, okay, Triumph Tiger. Um, we'll have a little look at that. So what I find is, with this kind of top box, mm -hmm. like it's a good box for going away with and putting loads and loads of stuff in, but I tend to just fill it up with tons of junk. So I want something a little bit smaller when I'm not using the bike for bigger runs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this. So we're going to take out the foam insert except the bottom foam part to, um, to give it a little bit of cushioning but we're going to drill it and fix it onto the uh, back plate, I mean it's pretty, pretty standard stuff, put some silicone around the um, nuts and bolts to hold it in place and see if we've got a tidy little top box that's only cost me about £40 so let's give it a go and uh, see how it comes out. <laughs> This is the template for doing my holes in the box. So I'm going to take out this middle bit here. So I'm not going to bother using this. I'm also not going to bother using the top piece either. It's too much foam. get rid of this one as well so that's two lots of but these will come these will come in handy for something else and then I've just got that bit of foam at the bottom there which I'm gonna keep in and now we want to measure this box up and get it in the right position it should be pretty straightforward but knowing how these things go and I mean, at the end of the day, we can always take it off and take this away, so... Okay, so the one mistake I always, always make is not measuring twice. So <laughs> I do it once, I cut the holes out, put it on and I've got it in the wrong place. I do it all the time. So this time I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna measure it twice, double check it and make sure I've got those holes right in the right spot. It's not finalized but you get the idea it's a lot lower so I can be seen a lot easier on the back of the bike like I say I see I see 40 times around if you haven't seen him follow him his stuff's really really good and he travels all around America uh, putting out really good content for travelers and anyone on motorcycles really so I'm gonna go ahead silicon grease around the screws to protect them maybe put a washer in there as well and uh, see what we end up with. OK, 
laying us on there really really solid and we've got some silicon grease on it as well so So I picked up these sandwich bags relatively cheaply. Um, they're gonna go into the back to provide some more storage. So luckily enough, they fit absolutely perfectly. Okay, so this is what the finished box looks like. I've got these two bags in there and each of these two bags just holding uh, just my little essentials really that I take out with me. Okay, bungee cords and yep. Now this box is waterproof, it is waterproof rated, so there you go. Strong, durable, might take the handle off the back. Needs a sticker now, doesn't it? That should be sealed all the way through. Oh, there you go so much neater and tidier than that just about get my camera gear in there okay so that's how to put a cheap case on well it's not cheap but that's a cost effective way of putting a case back onto the back of your motorbike um, it's a really good idea thanks to FTR um, 40 times round check him out on YouTube he does some absolutely amazing stuff. He really has some great tips on motorcycling, motorcycle adventure, motorcycle camping, uh, mo maintenance, everything. Um, really, really good ideas. So, there's the box. And all I'll do is just, I'll probably get a better lock for these, just each side. And like I said, once you undo it, There you go. I even got myself a set of gloves. And actually my laptop will fit in there nice or some GoPro or camera gear. I can easy change things out. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope that give it, that's given you a really good idea of how you can make a cost-effective top box to get you out of trouble so you can take your essentials around with you without having to spend 200 pound, 100, 200 or more on um, these things. They're very expensive. It works for 40 times around. He rides all around the world. Well, certainly all around America in, you know, rain, wind, snow, dirt, everything he rides trails and if it's good enough for him on the back of his bike then it's good enough for us okay guys i hope you enjoyed that please like share subscribe it really helps to keep the channel going keep us motivated and send us a message if there's other things you want to know if you need any more information about how i did this just send us a message down below and get back to you as soon as possible okay guys ride safe and remember there's never a wrong way on a motorcycle. Take care. Bye.